Hi guys, uh, welcome to a Tesla Nasdaq. Yeah, it's been a year since we since we took delivery. Uh, we've driven the car thirty three thousand five hundred and thirty four kilometers in this year. That's just over twenty thousand miles. Mm -hmm. Um, is that a lot? Compared, uh, it's a lot compared to a gas car. Just the nearest one. Just the. The cook from this. The three were on the Yeah, she's got cake on her face. I'd like the cake because it's uh, the car's birthday. Yeah, so. that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any excuse to bake a cake. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we haven't done many videos lately, but for personal reasons. Uh, but we intend to do more in the future. And uh, it's springtime now, so. It's almost June, so it's starting to. Yeah. Yeah. Spring is coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's not summer yet, so. But uh, hopefully we can drive around Iceland and, and show you the Iceland lang Icelandic landscape this summer. Um, what else? We just hit 350 subscribers this week. Yeah. And we had the idea that when we hit 500 subscri subscribers, uh, Subscribers. <laughs> uh, we would uh, draw one of our subscribers and some send him or her a packet with some Icelandic treats, candy treats. So. Yeah. No shark. No shark. No. Oh, no shark. No, just uh, <laughs> yeah. Not not the Ice traditional Icelandic. Treats, no, uh, no shark, no sheep balls, or it's only to scare the tourists mainly. But yeah, mm. uh, but no, just some Icelandic yeah. made candy, yeah. Which will <coughs> obviously then be a lot of li licorice, yeah. <laughs> because Icelanders love their licorice, <laughs> and it's not, it's not. Uh, I guess when I say licorice, you are thinking about something other than I am, because Icelandic licorice is not, it's not like the uh, red licorice the Americans eat. It's just black, salty, and we love it. And we put licorice in almost anything, so chocolate and licorice, chocolate. Uh, Something Toughy, to eat cake. Uh, licorice and cake, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, mostly topping though. And, yeah. But cookies. Yep. Uh, uh, meringue cookies with licorice, that's delicious. You can take my word for that. Uh, um, Mom spit. <laughs> I think she's cold, so I just turned on the dot warmers. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, we haven't been making any videos lately because uh, last February my mother was diagnosed with cancer, brain cancer, a brain tumor. And um, about two weeks ago she died. And um, last Friday uh, we, we 
recently just Yeah, last Friday there was the funeral, and so, yeah, not much, <coughs> not much into thinking about videos at the time like that, so we haven't been making any. Sixty nine years old and just gone in two and a half months. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about something not as depressing. Okay. Um, we want to do some traveling yeah. around Iceland this summer. Uh, there are no superchargers here. No superchargers there in Iceland. There are no public chargers uh, outside oh. of Reykjavik. I, oh, sorry. Uh, no, they opened two in Akureyri last, two in Akureyri last week, I think. In the north. So we have to dif we have to visit Akureyri. Yeah, but uh. we it's uh, I'm. Pretty sure it's just there's no AC charging there. It's just DC, so we need a Shademo adapter. Mm. We were thinking um, of going camping because in Iceland, Iceland has a lot of campsites, and in almost all of them, you can uh, buy access to electricity. So, uh, in theory, it should be easy to travel around Iceland with an electric electric car and a tent but we'll see it'll be interesting yep. um, we just got a twitter account yeah. so if you have any suggestions for us use the comments below yeah. or our twitter account yes yeah, just the tesla island mm -hmm. um, same spelling yeah um, there are some suggestions that uh, some places around Iceland you would like us to show you. Feel We're not making any promises though. <laughs> we'll try, we'll try. But suggestions would be nice. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So. Mm. Um. Anyway, this year of having the car yep. um, it's been well almost problem free uh, there was a, a, a little sound or it is actually still because we don't have a service center here there's a little like a creaking sound under heavy acceleration which seems to be coming from the front it has no it's just a sound it has no performance uh, uh, no effects, yeah, no effect effects on, on uh, the performance. It's um, the car isn't using any more energy. It's just a creaking sound under heavy acceleration. So I haven't really been launching it a lot <laughs> because I don't want the people I'm trying to impress <laughs> to hear some. <laughs> Sound. The seat's too hot for you? Is that all right? Okay. She's in the hot seat. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, I was sitting here in the car. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, 
No, I, I mean... Sure. Are we going? Hmm. No. Not yet. Finish the video. Then we go. Okay. Okay. Let's give it away. Tell me to Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> She's eight. Getting pretty good in, good at English. Uh, we have another one. She's eleven. She's inside playing on her phone. Phone, I think, yeah. Kids. We have uh, a teenager. Yeah, an eleven year old teenager, yeah. yeah. Starts early. Starts early. Uh, yeah, um, you were talking about the car, weren't we? Yep. Yeah, one year. Um, um, problems? Well, the um, the rear left passenger door can make a little sound when it's open because the um, uh, the window doesn't go down quick enough. A little little Let's see. Well, because it doesn't do that now. It usually just happens from the outside though. A little Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Oh, no. Look, I'm going to put it out. Okay. <laughs> She's going to make the test for us. Nope. Let's keep it. Let's keep a little bit there um, that's it I mean um, well yeah one more thing uh, the because uh, the brakes two more things actually stuff to the brakes um, you when you don't use them as much well, when you use them as little as you do on a Tesla, uh, they can build up some rust. And um, uh, when it's wet and the streets have been salted, then uh, it can happen that they are a bit uh, sluggish. You press mm -hmm. the brakes, nothing really happens. And then you press again and, and the car stops. But... <clears throat> That happened to me once. I uh, I was driving in wet conditions, haven't hadn't used the brakes much that day, and I was coming up to uh, up on some traffic, and I had to brake, and almost nothing happened. I have to swerve a little. Um, that's just something you have to remember when you're driving in conditions like in Iceland, where there's a lot of slush and stuff on the roads like that. Uh, you have to use the brakes, just just to keep them clear. I mean, um, and dry, dry the brakes. A bit. Yeah. yeah, it's a good idea when you start the car to use the brakes a bit. Use the brakes a bit. You yeah. don't have to use them all the time. Just <coughs> try them. Try them at the start of a dry when when a drive when the conditions are wet. And slushy. Mm -hmm. um, th there was one time that this, uh, the um, uh, it was a close call, but after that I just used the brakes a little more, no problems. Um, <coughs> uh, we have also had to replace the front windshield. That but has nothing to do with the car. That has nothing to do with the car. That was just. Mm gravel on the road that got thrown at the windshield. Yeah, the only problem is uh, if, because the uh, the um, windshield is so big and there's a part of it that's uh, just 
blacked out. It's much bigger than the the visible area from inside. Um, the uh, rock landed on the black um, at the bottom of the windshield. At the bottom of the windshield in the front, and uh, I didn't know about it. Uh, it could have been repaired, but because I didn't know about it, the um, uh, conditions were right for it to get bigger. Uh, you uh, put the heater on. I put the heater on and, and suddenly the, just... And, the and it cracked. Crack. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, it cracked yeah. from the heater. Yeah. So if I had seen the uh, chip, uh, I could have had that repaired and, and I wouldn't have had to have the windshield replaced. Mm. So, maybe an inspection every now and then. Just check if there's uh, some damage on the, uh, the, the, um, on the uh, windshield wiper area. Mm. Um, yeah. So, was that four things? Yeah, I think. But it's a great car to, ri to drive. Yeah, um, it, it does use, f uh, I, I guess it uses twice the amount of the uh, electricity we use for, the, for our house. But um, the average uh, energy bill has been about, I guess, $110. Um, about a hundred, yeah, hundred euros. It's like fifteen thousand Icelandic. That's the average. Yeah. Toilet. Toilet. That opens the door. It took a lot of time. We're just outside our house right now. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, the electric bill. Yeah, electric bill. Uh, the yeah, the el electric bill for both the car and the house was uh, what I said uh, about fifteen thousand Icelandic, which is just over a hundred euros or a hundred and ten fifteen dollars a month and that's both the car and the house so I was mm -hmm. pay, paying at least three uh, uh, about three times that just for diesel when I was driving uh, mm -hmm. a Skoda yeah it's uh, it's, uh, it's from the Czech Republic that car it's mm -hmm. uh, made by the Volkswagen group mm -hmm. uh, and there were some scotters in the diesel gate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. So. Tires. I had. I bought a set of uh, Nokia Nakabilita R2s. That's not cheap here in Iceland. It's about $2,000. For the for the set, um, yeah, but I mean, better have good tires. Yeah. Could have. Uh, it was a choice between the Hakablita eights and those. I decided to go with non-studded tires. It's, I mean, it's a great handling car in snow, and and um, I can actually have the R2s under the uh, on longer. I can put them earlier and, p and take them under uh, later. Uh, th there are laws here. You can't have studded tires from. Uh, I think it's from. Uh, uh, mid, April, mid April mid April into start of November yeah no studded tires I mean it, it does sound like a long time that you can't have the studded tires but of, 
the, the winter lasts this long. Mm. What it was? Yeah, she's back. Yeah, it was still snowing a bit at the end of April. Yeah. So. I'm. I, I mean. In the on the road that he uses to go to Reykjavik. Need to go over a mountain. So. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 350 meters. Thank you. So it can be much worse than me uh, mm. in the towns. Mm. In the town I live in and the city I work in. Mm. That's much lower, so. Um, and the, um, the it's a mountain road really uh, because it has really localized weather patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, I have gone from uh, I guess three four degrees above freezing to ten below freezing and back again on the way. Mm. That's Celsius. That's yeah, that's Celsius, but. Mm. Yeah. Um, anything else? No, I'm just happy with the car, yeah. I think. Yeah. I've, I tell people sometimes that uh, you can regret the decision to buy one, but not while you're in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sitting in the car, you, you, you don't regret it, at, at least not when you're driving. Mm. Um, some... That was nice to have. Uh, it, y you can have a problem with some. Uh, it, it sometimes it stops working. Um, uh, it twice has it stopped working for me. I mean, uh, it, it, the car doesn't connect. Mm -hmm. uh, both times a uh, uh, reboot of the uh, both screens have have solved that. I think was just rebooting the cell, uh, center screen by holding down the scroll wheels would have been enough, but I usually reboot both. Um, autopilot. Autopilot. Oh, Great yeah. feature for the commute. Yeah. 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 It's um, it's really good and it's it's it, it always getting better. It even works well, even though the lines are barely visible. Yeah. I I used it well, the other day. And the lines were pretty faded. They haven't haven't repainted the lines yet here in Iceland, but it still worked. Yeah. It's rather. But you, of course, you have to be vigilant. When, extra when you, careful as, when. Yeah, yeah, extra careful. Extra careful when the lines are are faded but like that. But you just yeah. just keep your hand like around the wheel. Mm -hmm. and just. It's very nice. Just, <laughs> just find a position that's comfortable with your hand on the wheel. Something like that. Just holding it. Sorry. You don't have to steer or anything. You just relax like this, and you're always ready to take control. No problems. Almost. Um, not far enough to do. Not that big very building. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess we're pretty Almost much done. done. Yeah. Um, just a quick recap. Uh, uh, when we hit 500 subscribers, we're going to. Yeah, give you candy. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and if you have any suggestions, what do you want to see, what do you want to see around Iceland? Where is Paul's name? Is Iceland's name? Thrister. We just asked her what's her favorite candy, and there's something called Thrister or a three. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's um, it's um, like nougat. No, it's probably more like camer caramel or something. Salt? Chocolatey with a bit of licorice in it. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's like nougat. Okay, caramel. Anyway, chocolate, 
Ja. 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 <laughs> Chocolate and milk. Ja. We have lots of candy that doesn't have licorice in it. Really? Ja. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, mostly just chocolate, but yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, 500 subscribers. Yeah. And, and I, I, it's not just for new to subscribers, every subscriber uh, will be in the pot. Yeah, yep. uh, if YouTube lets us. See every sub subscriber. I, I, I'm not sure that's possible. Though. We'll think there's something uh, else. There's yeah. a setting that says that um, something about subscription. Uh, I don't know. We'll do our best. Yep. Be, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. yeah we will uh, announce the the winner. And the winner would have to get back to us with the uh, details so uh, I can ma mail. Mailing address, yes. Yeah. Yeah.